I think I will not do justice to this service if I don't also play the confirmation of the Nigerian election. It's difficult to prophesy when it comes to the issue of your nation. And I want to thank the Lord. I want you to look at this prophetic confirmation. Even thought some of you have seen it. For you to understand that you have a prophet in the house. If you are doubting me, I think you will not doubt this one. I stood here. I've said so many things about many nations. I started prophesying about this 2023 election. And I said, and I said in my words and the words of God, that is a mystery. I said, I see light in darkness and darkness in light. And I want pastors to be careful of how they prophesy about 2023 election. That is a mystery. So that the name of the Lord should not be blasphemed. Every, Every prophetic word have a reason. Please take it back. Every prophetic word have a reason. Now, what makes us a prophet is not because we say things and it come to pass. What makes make us a prophet is our ability to handle God's word the way he wants us to handle it. There are many things about this country God has shown me and have warned me not to talk about them, but to act and follow them the way it is. Even though the election is over, I still have some other things I'm not permitted by God to talk about. And there are some I'm just going to give you a pinch about it so that you understand that I am not just guessing. I've heard a lot of believers complain and I have said in my own words, how do you play double standard game that are very controversial like Christians in Nigeria? We are so hypocritical. Very hypocritical. And I'm going to say it without apology. We had a Christian ruling this country several years ago. In the person of His Excellency, President Goodluck Jonathan Ebele. We said he was not doing well. The people who led the rally against Goodluck Jonathan were pastors, Christians. They occupied Nigeria. They occupied everywhere. And they said they wanted a change of government. And His Excellency President Muhammad Buhari came into power. You asked for this change. You got the change. And you are complaining about what you asked for. We are too hypocritical. We are reaping what we have sown. All this shout everywhere. Hypocrites. All of you. Hypocrites. If you are supporting a candidate because they are promised you ministerial position, your member's ministerial position, you are an hypocrite. God will do what he wants to do for Nigeria. And no pastor, including me, will take a glory. No pastor. No pastor. Nigeria is going through a spiritual surgical operation. And God is not going to involve the hand of any mortal man to do what he wants to do in Nigeria. The election is rigged. The election is rigged. Is there any election in this country we don't shout that is rigged? No, is there anyone? Is there anyone you don't shout that is rigged? You know me, I am one man standing. I don't stay where the crowd are. God 
want anybody to be there rigging or no rigging the person will be there no rigging can stop the mandate of god so please be careful watch this prophecy and hear what i say i say if you are hungry go through the legal means and after you have gone through it whatever is the decision stick to it clean your wound and continue if i said tinubu will be your next president you will stone me the prophet of god brother joshua igina rendered sensitive prophecies on the nigerian presidential election dated from the 23rd of may 2021 to 19th february 2023 regarding the ruling party apc he gave intricate details on the systemic failure happening in the nation and the internal crisis within the party also giving cautious advice to men of god on their prophecies to avoid indulging their emotions on the 23rd of may 2021 during the course of the service brother joshua Iginla prophesied that the future of the ruling party is still bright and it will continue that way until the rise of a david if i said tinubu will be your next president you will stone me the ruling party all progressive congress is the incumbent party that runs the affairs of the nigerian government let's hear his exact words the future of the ruling party in nigeria is still bright and it will continue that way until david rise up to continue on the 19th of september 2021 he also stated the vehicle driving us is still the same but the driver will change note these striking words the battle is not party to party but internal party it, the vehicle i see driving us is the vehicle that will still drive us it's only that the driver will change but it's still the vehicle that will still be there i speak in parables it's only that the driver i saw on the story is not as tall as the one that is there now that's all based on the prophecy can the apc presidential candidate bola ametinibu be the one people will be aggrieved people will be bitter the battle is no party to party, it's internal party of the ruling party. Did you notice he said an internal battle within the ruling party? These were his words. The battle is no party to party, it's internal party of the ruling party. Tibu Aribaje Gov President, Emino Muslim, Timbaje Vice President. Oh, the recent president, senate president of Tuleje, Muslim. Moshe Bere, see, campaign Madaruni, but Ewa. Motin say, you bob. Oh, Joti Pe. Egbe Kini Wa. Emi Loko. Furthermore, on the 31st of December 2021, Brother Joshua Igila gave a word of prophecy saying the year 2022 to 2023 is a year of mystery where even the mighty will not understand this mystery. Also, he gave a word of prophecy about the internal crisis of the ruling party. Remember, Brother Joshua Igila said that the APC presidential candidate Bola Ahmed Tinubu is a factor in the equation that can only be removed by god this year is a year of mystery it's a year of mystery even the mighty will not be able to understand it even the prophets who see may not be able to see it all it's a year of mystery even people who are mystical will not be able to explain the mystery I saw light in darkness. I saw darkness in light. It's a mystery. For almost 36 days before we enter into it. Why? 
I saw light in darkness and I saw darkness in light. You will soon understand. It's a mystery. This is a mystery. Those who used to know will not be able to know. Those who don't know will become people that know. It will be a mystery. At the two, something you will not be able to understand. It's deeper. It's deeper. It's a year that we that we make the mighty. The most intelligent people we eat up their intelligence because their intelligence will fail them. He will use foolish things to confirm the wisdom of the wise. It's the year that mighty men should be very humble. The road can be clear and you are in the car and there's no any other car and you feel that it's an express road it's a mystery if I am if I know vehicles are moving in this road and all of a sudden I see myself alone in that road and there's no other vehicle coming behind and no other vehicle ahead it means something must have happened in this road that everybody deserted it's a mystery those of us on the altar who, who, who will look at one another and know the ruling party like I say there's nothing too new we are going to see between 2022 and 2023 but there's going to be internal movement that's not what where I'm going to when this mist of the internal movement of what is going to happen the 2022 to 2023 election within the ruling party is going to be a lot but you see the man Tinibu Ahmed Bola he is a factor in the equation and you cannot remove him and you cannot push him aside you cannot drive him backward or push him backward except god pull him out of the equation moments after these prophecies on the 8th of june 2022 it was seen in the headlines of vanguard and bbc news that bola ahmed Tinibu defeats all contestants of the apc primaries I will speak in parable because I am afraid to say what I saw. So I will put them like this. Let us pray for our current leaders to finish well what they have started. Like I say, I will speak in parables. Let us pray for the forthcoming election to go smoothly without any roadblock and manipulation what i mean by the forthcoming election is the 2023 election please underline this word to go smoothly without roadblocks and manipulation let us pray against a conspiracy theory that i don't want to explain I'll leave it that it is pregnant with a lot of meaning. I want to re-emphasize this. Why others are busy talking about who will become the president? This is important once more. Let us pray for the forthcoming election to go smoothly without any roadblock and manipulation let us pray in quote against any conspiracy theory i don't want to explain this is pregnant with a lot of meaning let us pray that the enemies of nigeria should not throw nigeria into total darkness before the election and after the election 
take note of my words they are serious telling you who will be the next president is not as important as this vision let us pray that the enemies of nigeria should not throw nigeria into total darkness before the election and after the election so that history should not repeat itself in an alarming form so that history should not repeat itself in an alarming form take note of everything i've said when god review he review to redeem our prayer should be more that there should be no systemic failure god bless you god has already given an interim order to maintain status quo pending the determination of the suit so it is an affront on the judiciary and i don't think the judiciary at this point to just fold his hand and allow this to go unpunished we are not really consigned who is involved the attorney general is there he made an undertaking he aired his view even on channel television to say the government will obey the decision of the supreme court and will obey the order of the supreme court that order has not been vacated, vacated to the best of my knowledge now to now vary the president what they have done what the executive have done is to on their own vary the order by saying 200 naira notes will continue to coexist why 500 and 1000 will cease to be illegal tender that is not the order of the supreme court i will begin in a year state where the agitation over the scarcity of the new naira notes is taking a new dimension now hundreds of youths earlier today occupied the monotone iwo road in protest of the hardship residents are experiencing due to the naira swap and scarcity of the new and old notes the angry youths barricaded the major road which leads to iwo road to express their grievances against what they termed unfair treatment of nigerians by the government with a new policy the protest which resulted in a gridlock left motorists and passengers stranded while others sought alternative routes to bypass the barricaded area on the 11th of september 2022 the prophet of god gave precise details of god's word concerning the nigerian 2023 election saying the forthcoming election is a mystery furthermore he wants men of god to take caution on the prophecies they give towards the election and not be clouded by their emotions these were his exact words nigeria is undergoing a spiritual oppression she has been taken to an heavenly theater And God is operating on Nigeria. I can't tell you anything deeper than this. It's because the Lord has hid hidden heat from me. Because he told me it's a mystery. And I want to warn men of God to be very careful of how they prophesy about the outcome of 2023 election. It's a mystery. So that the name of the Lord should not be blasphemed among the Gentiles. Our emotions, our feelings, our desire should not overcrowd what God is doing. Even the most powerful will be confused. The most political gurus who can analyze political situations in Nigeria, it will fail them. It's a mystery. But hear me, the outcome of the election is now in the hands of God. I'm not prophesying, I'm only telling you that it's a mystery. Don't fight over what you don't know. And I keep, I want you to underline this one. I say what? It's a mystery. Please, be careful. Don't carry your personal bitterness to enter into 2023. Even the players... They don't know what they are doing. God is the one playing the game now. 
you will see you will see the plane fly to this place and you already will already be celebrating that the plane want to land there then it will take off again and go to this place you will see what i'm saying even the players will be confused for the players don't allow overconfidence to hold you it's a mystery on the 11th of december 2022 Brother Joshua Iginla stated he is getting a clearer picture and we should not be moved by any prophecy of doom as there is nothing new going to happen. I'm sorry, I'm getting clearer picture. Very clearer picture. Very clearer picture. There's nothing too new that is coming. I'm sorry. And I will leave it at that. Nothing too new. But God will keep Nigeria. No prophecy of doom should move you. This country is in the hands of God. I don't know why God loved this country, Nigeria. I don't know why. One thing I can tell you, eh? whatever is the outcome of this election is pregnant with meaning. And let me tell you the truth. Let's remove emotions. Let's remove sentiment. Nigeria is in the hands of God. I will be talking like this. But as I'm talking, if you are a man of the spirit, you'll be able to pick what I'm saying. You, you might not like this way, you might not like that way. It doesn't stop it. The Veku, this Nigeria, is in the hands of God. Not in the hand of any man of God. Not even in my hand. Not in the hand of any human being. Not even in the power broker. I told you, I say, the mystery of what is about to happen in this 2023 election as even the players will be confused go and check my prophetic track check what i say and during the primaries i said to you wiki is a factor and tinubu is a factor some of you don't understand what i mean i mean wiki is a factor the reason is because if you are pushing governor his excellency governor wiki aside and you don't factor him in you will see that he's a factor. And I say, if you want to push Tinubu away, I said this thing, go and check the prophecy. That time, everybody was saying Tinubu will never become an APC candidate. I'm not vying for anybody. And I say, he is a factor. You are here. Go and check the prophecy. And I'm still standing again to still tell you to the opposition, Wiki is a factor. And Tinubu is already what? A factor. The rest, I leave it to destiny. If you like, I'm not saying anything, but I'm saying what I have said. Go and check it. It was all over the social media. What is he saying? I said, what? Wiki is a factor. Tinubu is a That time they have not picked any of them. They have not picked. And, I, and when, he, when Wiki lost the election, I was smiling. I felt that the powers in this other place would have seen that I said he is a factor. Whether you abuse him from nothing tomorrow, I say, for those of you who are mathematicians, what we say he is a factor in an equation. You understand? So if you like, abuse me from nothing tomorrow. And I've warned men of God be careful. Don't prophesy what you don't understand. So that the name of the Lord might not be blasphemed among the Gentiles. After this prophecy, His Excellency Gardner Wiki said PDP should have the opportunity, but... PDP should have the opportunity. There will come a time the door will be shut. And nothing. If heaven will come down, let it come down. I have told you, look. If that the heaven will come down, the heaven will come down. Let us see heaven come down. On the 24th of February 2023, it was seen in Premium Times headlines that Governor Wiki finally shut negotiation doors against Atiku Abubakar. An advice from Brother Joshua Iginla on the 12th of February 2023, saying, Whatever the outcome is from the election, the masses should not be instigated into causing unrest in the nation, but any grievances should follow through the legal procedures. 
what happens in the outcome of this election that is coming we are going to have one winner and um, the rest are not losers you just you have just come contributed your quarter uh, to the political atmosphere of this country so if you feel the outcome of the result is not acceptable for you please follow the legal means to vent your anger the law court do not please beg you instigate the masses of this country against the outcome of this election as long as INEC declares the winner if there is anything that you feel aggrieved with no Nigerian blood is worth your political ambitions I'm saying this because of the vision I saw so let's say you feel aggrieved with the outcome of the election don't say or make statements that can create tension that can bring unrest in this peaceful country if you are not a president today you'll be a president tomorrow the most important thing is that we want this election to come and pass and nigeria is still nigeria so i'm saying this because of the vision i saw because my visions are just plain and i can tell you that some of my fears before the election god is working god is answering our prayer so i think we are graduating into during the election and after the election this is the second prayer point as a church before the election i'm seeing god god has cleared this one yes he has cleared it so when we enter into the election day which i know the result is going to delay for some time for it to come but the issue is please in this race all of us are winner please take this my video and keep it all of us are winner nobody is a loser because your argument has further created tension <laughs> as you see as it is now everybody is going into it with their tutu feet so it's not like before that somebody will throw and say it's a walkover everybody is serious that's how it's supposed to be it, it, it should be an healthy competition but one person is going to come a winner and if that person come a winner and the instituted authority which is INEX say this is the person we declare the winner if you feel aggrieved and you have your legitimate issues please address it through the legitimate process don't instigate nigerians against the outcome of this election you might not know why i'm saying this i'm saying this as a prophet do not let's follow it peacefully the following sunday on the 19th of february 2023 speaking in parables brother joshua ginla said the boisterous ocean will still experience calmness also he stated that a sailor was moving the boat into another direction but a mighty hand took hold of the steering i still stand by my prophecy but i'm adding something to it and i will speak to you in parable 
We are in a boisterous ocean, big sea. And the ship is sailing. The wind will blow us here. We blow us here to look like we're about to sink, but we will not sink. After some time, there will be stillness, there will be calmness, and the ship will sail. Don't forget what I said last week. I said the outcome of all this thing is that if you are angry don't instigate people into violence don't make any statement that will provoke nigeria to nigerians to pick up arms if you want to readdress your grievance go through the legitimate process which is the law court don't forget this i know why you ask me prophet what do you see coming ahead i said this year is light in darkness and darkness in light now hear me now what we are experiencing now is light in darkness but very soon light will swallow darkness don't forget my please the prophecy are there on the internet i'm not just talking I'm not talking because I saw anything happening. All the political gurus will fail in their calculation. Everybody will be afraid. It's those who think they are political guru, they will not be able to forecast. There will be fear. That is where you know. Anybody who emerge or whatever happened, you know God and is in Nigeria. Pastors, be very careful of how you talk. You are not God. You only have your own opinion side. That's why I said, this is the side God has shown me. So what we are experiencing is light in darkness. What do you mean by light in darkness? It simply means that it looks like darkness is about to swallow light. But very soon the music will change. Darkness now will enter light. Light will supersede darkness. That's all. That's all. You don't need to be confused i'm not just permitted to talk that's to talk more than this junction because it's a trying moment emotions are mixed but saying that we we don't how you say we don't we, we have seen it i've seen it like a television it has played out for me so i'm not confused i'll give you another parable now and that's where i'm going to stop and this is very important and don't forget you know thank you lord when i saw the ship in the sea and the wind was blowing the ship left and right the sailor was trying to drive the ship to another direction but the steering just automatically came out of the sailor's hand and it was under the control that the sailor couldn't hold the steering then this then i saw a mighty hand that is invisible to the sailor sailing the ship and i saw that it moves the ship against the direction of the captain don't forget this word on the 31st of December 2022, Brother Joshua Iginla gave precise prophecies on the outcome of the 2023 presidential election, who to win, the delays and drags. He specifically spoke about the Cyrus that is to come and God permitting it. These were his exact words. 2023, this year. If you had followed me from 2021, you have followed me 
2022 I said to you before the primaries election of Nigeria of those political parties and I said Wike is a factor and Tinubu is a factor and the rest you have seen what happened in 2022 and I want to put it clear please I know all this YouTube and so many people journalists you know how to twist mind of God words but please don't twist my words just follow what I'm saying that's why I'm carefully speaking because I know a lot of you are good at manipulating Wiki is a factor and Tinubu is a factor the next president of this country will be like a Cyrus and I want to say this that person is not a perfect will of God it's a soul. That person is going to be permitted by God to come in. This is a triangle battle. The two at the bottom are going to struggle Why the smartest and the fastest is going to move from nowhere to there money experience and the god factor i call it the god factor god is dealing with nigeria he spoke about the last becoming the first and this is the outcome of these statements David is not yet matured. David is still taking care of the flocks. That is why the Lord will leave David for some time. We must have anointed David. But the David that is anointed is not known by us. It's not obvious. The ones you think is the David. It's not the David. David is not known. 2031, you are going to understand my vision. There are two lions and one tiger fighting. There are two lions and one tiger fighting. In this election, there's nothing new that is coming. It might look new but there's nothing too new that is coming but we must pray that history should not repeat itself the second time 2023 this year the person you hated so much will still be the person that will rule you I did not say anything did I mention name? Is it? This is permissive. God is permitting it. Hallelujah. You know I'm not just talking, eh? You know I have been talking before the primaries. And I've continued to talk. And I'm still talking. Hello? The person you hated much 
a person you have abused so much yeah the person you insulted very well you are going to see his face very soon if i said tinubu will be your next president you will stone me if i said tinubu will be your next president you will stone me if i said tinubu will be your next president you will stone me surely the lord god does nothing without revealing his secret to his servants the prophets I think it's very important we play this and um, maybe you would have seen the history that is very long and you understand it's not a guest work it's not psychology it's pure prophecy now you need to take this and go and listen to it more than 10 times the, all the answer you are looking for about now about after they are there in this prophecy all captured all captured the prophecy is not just about winning the election even after this election all captured and it's very important you know I gave warning that our emotions our desire our feelings we shouldn't bring it into this election of 2023. If you ask me, my desire, my emotions, and my feelings, or how I feel as a person, it might not be the outcome of what you are seeing now that I wanted. But as a disciplined prophet, who understand that my emotions and desire and feelings are not relevant when God is speaking. I have to subject myself and I know it fully well as we are here in this church that we have a lot of people in this church who belong to other parties we have obedience we have YPP we have AC we have PDP all here that's why I took my time to point truth to you and to also respect you and also make sure that I'm non-participant because I know that the outcome of this election might not go the way most of you want it by prophecy that's why I said it is a mystery and I want to further portray it from that prophecy I said the man Tinubu is a factor you can't push him aside you can't push him forward you can't remove him except God remove and I stand by that word again. You can push him as a, You can push him like this. You can't remove him. The only thing that can remove him is accept God. And that's the truth. Accept God. You might hate me, but that's the truth. So if you are pursuing your game, if your game have human manipulation, it won't work. Except God and is involved in it. That's why I want men of God. Not because I'm the most perfect and the most strong. Some say they didn't see election. Some say it's going to be like this. Some have become prophets overnight. And when teachers leave their teaching job to do weep the prophetic ministry that God has called us to, then there's trouble in the land. Everybody begin to prophesy. People who are not prophets in this country started prophesying. That's where I knew that flesh has entered. We can desire a thing, but our desire should be under God's leading. We had a governor in this country, His Excellency Governor Otto. Before he contested the first time election, he came to see me. Prophetically, I gave him the words that God spoke to me. 
and it came to pass. The second time he wanted to recontest. All details. I gave it to him. As God said. This last time. It did not come to me. I know there are some, some teachers who are prophets that have talked to him. Because I would have told him this is not how to do it. It's an error when people who are not prophets begin to prophesy and enter into the office of the prophet because of the benefits they want to get. The man Peter will be is a wonderful man. I have nothing against him. Thank God for him. Whatever is his ambition is between him and his God and God will lead him and back him up. But you see, you are a force behind him and you are using his fame to rise up. You are killing it so that people will say, I made him. You can't make Peter will be. God is the one that will make him. There are too many lay hold and claim that was coming out. God wants to prove to people that I make a man, nobody makes a man. Without we, without any man of God, if God wants to make His Excellency Peter be president, He doesn't need a man. But there are too many people that were cashing up with the flame of the fame. It was no longer about an agenda of God. It was an, about an agenda of supremacy and competition among men of God. We need a God-fearing man to rule this country. Yes. Whether Muslim or Christian, I don't care. If the man has the fear of God. The economy of this country and the greatness of this country has nothing to do with religion. Whether you are a Muslim or a Christian, we are going to the same market. So let's remove religious politics. The most important thing is how Nigeria will get better. And God is going to surprise us. I say we are in a theater. The operation is not over. We are still in it. God is going to surprise us. The operation is not over. It's not an operation of four hours. The operation is still ongoing. Mark my word. I say what? The operation is still ongoing. That's why I cannot draw a conclusion. It's still an operation. We are still going through it. But hear me. God is doing it so that even Tinubu that is there now, we understand that it, is not, it was not his own power, not his own making. Everybody, every... Have you, have you seen this election? Some of, you are, some of you are allowing all the kind of your feelings and emotion to come in. No. Some of us, we think very well. This is the first election in the history of this country that politicians could not calculate properly. There was no money to buy, to lobby. In the stronghold of His Excellency President Tinubu, Peter will be won in Lagos there. You think it's normal? This election was completely not the usual election that we used to have. So hear me. When you see the outcome the way it is, know that there is one thing. I said there are three things that we play in this election. Listening to that prophecy. I say money, experience, and God factor. And the reason why I say money, leave it to me. I keep it quiet. The reason why I say experience, you must see experience here. Then the God factor. There is a reason why I say there is a God factor. And that's why I quickly made hard that the outcome of this election, I'm seeing what is about to happen. I'm seeing that there's not going to be an acceptability. I said, if you don't accept it, don't instigate anybody. No man of God should use his pulpit to instigate anybody for violence. No. We should speak peace. And we should teach our candidates that we support. Go through the legamies. If you have your money to support them, support them. Let them fight legally. You don't need 
to instigate anybody. Nobody's blood is worth anybody's ambition. If God say you are going to be there, you will be there. Olare Waju Adisa Dia. They were in prison. Abacha was in power. They were about to be sentenced to be killed. But the God who holds heaven and earth overnight took the man overnight. God has power to do anything. But hear me, anybody God puts there, you have no power to hate any human being. Never you use anybody's health to abuse them. You are, as a man of God, it is a sin to insult people using their health their age to insult them and their sickness to insult them you did not create them you did not own their head you are going to be old you are going to understand sickness if you want to preach preach what is wrong don't insult people with their battles of life the reason why i feel in my own thought why this is happening we've shown too much hatred hatred to the man that we the bible said that Leah was hated and for the reason that she was hated God opened her womb and shut the womb of Rachel you cannot show hatred the way you have shown hatred to his excellency president Ahmed Bola Tinubu the way you have elect the way you have shown hatred to him as Christians is beyond the measure. Hate the system, don't hate the man. You don't like him, you have used your votes to do that. It shouldn't go beyond this. When it gets past now, it's unchristian, it's unscriptural, it's not biblical. You have no right to use somebody's sickness to insult him. Hear me. I'm not close to anybody. I'm not close to anybody. Nobody. You see me, I was out of the country. Nobody. I don't spoke the mind of God. Alone. But every truth has to be spoken. The way it is. We occupy Nigeria. Took good luck Jonathan out. A Christian. And now we want to show that we love Christians. Hypocrites everywhere. You have shown the grip of corruption. Let's eat it together. Hear me. I'm saying it as a prophet. Nothing new. God will do his own thing. And I say to you. You said there is a David. I've not seen a David. The David is still in the jungle. He has not been discovered. 2031. You will see your David. You might not like what I say. Go and watch. I started talking about this. Two years ago, I said to you, the David is coming, but the David is not the one you think. Mm, you. It's not the one. Even me, I don't know the David. But I know the David is somewhere. He's somewhere. God has hidden him so that no one will see him. If not, they will kill him. Is Nigeria not going to make progress? We will make progress. This is not going to get better. It will get better. It will usher us to the real thing we are looking for. And hear me, whether you like it or not, what is instituted, we usher what is about to come. Abuse me, insult me. I don't even care. Me, I don't know what is called insult because even my name is where I am. Anything you want to say, say about me. Some of them became some of them became prophets overnight. People that are not prophesying. They are now exchanging, collecting money behind prophesying. Teachers that teach the word. Pastors that are breaking bottles, anointing everybody everywhere. When we talk, if they want to talk, they will insult we prophet. Fake, fake, fake. Now, we are not calling you fake. Oh, you made mistake. God keep you.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you blessed? Are you blessed? Somebody shot fire. Can I say something? I keep saying it. I'm a believer of this country. I see a new Nigeria. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Are you blessed? Are you blessed? I see a new Nigeria. In the hands of the Lord. Which one do you want? Is it the person that becomes a president or a new Nigeria? Who cares who sits on the throne? Is it better for me? Is it not what I'm looking for? So if your candidate sits on the throne and you know better, is that what you want? A new Nigeria. It go better, it go better. It go better, it go better. I see a new Stand up, everybody. I see a new Nigeria in the hands of the Lord. Ooh, I see a new Nigeria. I see a new Nigeria. I see a new. 